Hello viewers. Welcome to Civil Engineering Shilo's updates. Slum cone test. What is slum cone test? It is a field test to determine the consistency as well as the workability of fresh concrete. This test plays a vital role in ensuring immediate concrete quality checking in a construction project. Apparatus for slum cone test. Metallic mold that is slum test cone Metallic sheet Tamping rod Measuring tape Trowel Slum test cone that is Metallic mold Bottom diameter is equal to 20 cm Top diameter is equal to 10 cm Height is equal to 30 cm The metallic mold shall be made of metal. Brass or aluminium shall not be used. It is in the form of a festum of cone. Metallic sheet. The thickness of metallic sheet for the mold should not be thinner than 1.6 mm Tamping rod Diameter of tamping rod is equal to 16 mm Length of tamping rod 60 cm The end of tamping rod shall be rounded to a hemispherical tip Measuring tape. A good quality of measuring tape or measuring scale is used to measure the difference of slump. Typical mold for slump test. Standard dimension as per IS 1199-1959. All dimensions are in centimeter. Sampling If this test is carried out in field, a sample of freshly mixed concrete shall be abdined. In the case of concrete, Containing aggregate of maximum size more than 38 mm, the concrete shall be wet sieved to exclude aggregate particles bigger than 38 mm. Note Size of aggregate should not be greater than 38 mm. Procedure Step 1 The internal surface of the mold shall be thoroughly clean and freed from superfluous moisture and any set concrete before commencing the test. Step 2 The mold shall be placed on a smooth, horizontal, rigid and non-absorbent surface. The mold should be firmly held in place 
while it is being filled. Step 3 The mold shall be filled in 4 layers. Each layer shall be approximately 1 quarter of the height of the mold. Each layer shall be tamped with 25 strokes of the rounded end of the tamping rod. The strokes shall be distributed in a uniform manner over the cross section of the mold. Step 4 The bottom layer shall be tamped throughout its depth. After the top layer has been rotted, the concrete shall be struck off level with a trowel or with the tamping rod so that the mold is exactly filled. Step 5 If mortar may have leaked out between the mold and the base plate, it shall be cleaned away. Then the mold shall be removed from the concrete immediately by rising it carefully and slowly in a vertical direction. Step 6 This allows the concrete to drop and the slump shall be measured immediately by tamping rod. The tamping rod shall be placed over the cone to determine the difference between the height of mole and that of the highest point of the specimen being tested. The decrease in measure of slump is measured using measuring tape or measuring scale. Timing period The slump cone test shall be carried out at a place free from vibration or shock within a period of 2 minutes after sampling. How to measure the concrete slump? It shall be measured in terms of millimeters. If concrete slump specimen collapses laterally and gives incorrect result, the slump test shall be repeated with another sample. Types of slump True slump, zero slump, collapsed slump, shear slump. True slump In true slump, the slump moderately changes its shape. It indicates that the proportion of water cement is as specified in concrete mix design. Zero slump In zero slump, the fresh concrete does not change its shape. It indicates that only small amount of water is used to make the concrete. Shear slump When one half of the concrete mass slides down, the other half is shear slump. It indicates that the slump obtained is lean concrete mix. Collapse slump In collapse slump, the concrete collapses completely. It indicates that the result is failed and it is necessary to test the concrete again. Concrete slump test value Concrete slump degree of workability
Conclusion Depending on the working condition, the degree of workability or slump value of concrete should be maintained to do the good quality concrete work. Questions required during concrete slump test The mold and the plate should be non-porous. Test should be performed in a place which is free of vibration or shocks. Inside of the mold and base should be moistened before every test. The concrete sample should be very fresh. The delay must be avoided. Tests should be done just after mixing. Advantages of slump test The procedure of slump test is simple and easy than any other workability test. Inexpensive and portable apparatus is required for this test. This test can be performed at construction site as well as in laboratory. If you like this video, kindly do subscribe, click the bell icon, share this video and do support my channel Civil Engineering Shilo's Updates. If you have any query, mail me at Shilo's Updates at gmail.com Thank you.